Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. We have a different video for you guys today. This is a paid sponsorship through Tunes Kit, a program and a provider that has a, a pr application slash program that will allow you to take songs from Spotify, upload them, and be able to convert them into an mp3 format which you can later save on your iDevice and I'm really gonna just uh, show you guys just a setup the tutorial of how to get things set up and how to get your songs that you have on Spotify and be able to convert those into mp3s which you can later save onto your device and it's a really simple easy tutorial easy guide and just kind of giving my my first opinions and reviews about their software and their program so let's go ahead and get into the matter at hand as you can see here I'm on I'm currently on their website and I've been looking at the different features and pro and uh, the different possibilities with this application with this software and it's saying that you can you upload songs really fast that it's simple to use that there aren't no viruses that you are uh, you know safe and secure currently the device or the application i should say is going on for sale right now currently for 29.95 so if you want to check that out and purchase this you can do that also you can try the free version out they also do have that if you want to test this one out for yourself before actually making that purchase they have a great customer service they if you need any sort of uh, exchanges or if you want your money back they do have a money back guarantee so make sure you guys do check them out and i'll be leaving the link for uh their website in the description down below so make sure that you guys do check that out so let's go ahead and get into the matter at hand and downloading this now i'm going to be downloading this to my windows uh pc and it's so far it looks like as far as the comment sections and the, the reviews go it looks like people have had a positive experience with this application or with the software so I'm, I'm really curious and really excited to show you guys uh just how everything works and just give again my review and give my thoughts and opinions on the matter so every with just the uh, the click of the button you can go ahead and download this the software and then immediately they have just their standard procedure as far as installing and getting this uploaded and making it you know a little desktop icon so with this as well you will need the spotify app on your pc so make sure that you guys do have that installed because if you were to try to open up this app it's not going to just pull from spotify based off the internet you're going to need the actual app itself so we're going to navigate over into spotify and then from Spotify, as we open up their main website, you'll notice that there is a download button on the top right. We're going to go ahead and click on that, and then we're going to install the actual Spotify app to our PC. And just with every or any other off, you know, software or application, you will go through your normal steps of, you know, making sure that it gets installed and that if you have a, you know, a desktop icon or not, you, you'll go ahead and choose between those things. And then once we get this thing to download, we're, gonna, we're actually going to go ahead and run this. So we're going to go ahead and run this software. Good deal. And we have it installed on our PC. So good deal. So now that we have both two applications, we're going to we're going to actually open up Spotify and we're going to log in with our user account. So for me, I currently pay uh, for Spotify monthly. Uh, if you have a free version, I'm not sure. I believe this should allow you to still do the, the same. It should allow you to still extract the MP3 file. But for me, I currently pay for Spotify a month. Uh, I believe that I honestly love their service um, between them and Apple Music. I'm kind of undecided which one is better or which one I like. But I, for me, currently at the moment, I've been using Spotify and I like them as well. They have there's a lot of playlists that you can get off of here. And there's a couple of YouTubers that I actually listen to their different playlists. So I actually enjoy uh, using Spotify currently at the moment. Well, let's go ahead and load up Spotify or load up the actual converter. And as you can see here that it's going to go ahead and launch Spotify as well, too. If you have Spotify running in the background, you may get a notification saying, please, you know, relaunch Spotify, but it will redirect you to the actual Spotify app and then this converter as well, too. Now, I'm going to redirect any sort of download to go straight back to my desktop. So let me see here. Let me go th and navigate through these files. Actually, this looks like a see here where this is located i believe this is the file where you're actually saving your the actual file itself i'm going to keep this as as raw as possible as far as the download you know process and everything like, like that i'm going to speed up the video during those times so you may see a jump between the video but for the most part i'm going to keep this as raw as i can uh so there we go so clicking on that three uh menu button as you see at the bottom down there, it will actually direct you to where you want the actual MP3 to show up. So let's go ahead and pull up just a random song. 
and then we are going to drag actually literally drag and drop it to the actual Spotify converter. And I do apologize the fact that I don't have a PC that, or I don't have an actual mirroring software for my PC. That's something that I am looking into getting, but you are just having to watch based off of what I'm doing off of my PC. So I'm sorry if there is a little bit of a glare. So once you pull that MP3 file into the Spotify converter, it will ask you if you want to register, if you want to buy, or if you want to do a free trial. I believe the trial version does about like a two minute per the song. So if you have, uh, any song that you like, you can. I'm sure it's only like a minute or two minute that you can get. But once you have the actual registration code, or if you've bought this, you will be able to download the song completely, and then the song will show up on your actual uh, your home screen and show up on your desktop right there. So from here, if you wanted to, you can actually double click on it and it should load up for me. I have iTunes currently as my main media sources for playing any sort of music. So as I double click on it, it should load up iTunes. So let's go ahead and see that it does that. So it looks like, and mind you, I do have a bit of a slower computer than most. I'm, I'm honestly running this on a Toshiba computer. So the fact that it's running this fast is pretty, pretty decent. I'm glad that it's not you know, lagging or it's not taking its sweet time. So it looks like it's running and it looks like it's playing just fine. So the fact that you can take these songs from Spotify and download them into the convert or, put, you know, upload them, excuse me, into the converter and then have that converter, you know, format them into an MP3 where you can put them on iTunes is actually pretty crazy. And then you can take these songs that are on iTunes and then put them onto your iDevice so you can listen to them offline if you wanted to so I, it's a really interesting service and i'm i'm really shocked and really uh kind of surprised about the the whole aspect of this so there we go this song's right there right in my library and it was honestly pretty simple and pretty easy to do i i found this I, i'm honestly finding this pretty uh, pretty simple. I haven't come across any sort of viruses. Again, I'm running this on a computer that has very little to no uh, antivirus and it is a very old PC. So the fact that it's running and the speeds are actually doing this well and the download process actually wasn't that long. It was maybe about a couple seconds. I would, I would honestly guess of like 30 seconds long. The fact that it's going that fast on a PC it's uh it's not bad honestly I, i'm really surprised at their service here so if you guys do like this video if you guys like this application make sure you guys do check out tunes kit I'll, again i'll be leaving their link for their website in the description down below so that way you can check out the other different products that they have currently this one is going for 30 bucks which isn't that bad and for mac and for P uh, pc right now or yeah for both mac and for pc and usually the original price is about 50 bucks so again they are doing a great deal at the moment so definitely check them out and if you guys did like this video please like comment subscribe let me know if you guys have any sort of questions or concerns in the comment section down below if you guys have any sort of issues going on with the the software and i'll be more than happy to assist you with that but i'll be catching you guys on the next video peace